Good afternoon, everyone. It is Valentine's Day, and um, my normal weigh in day is on a Friday. This is two weeks worth of weigh in. So, um, without further ado, let me go ahead and tell you how I did the past two weeks. So, two weeks ago, my weigh in was I was up 1.2. I was upset with myself. I didn't even feel like coming on here to talk about it. <laughs> and then, so. Then yesterday's weigh-in or um, Friday's weigh-in was zero, like a um, no gain, no loss. It was the same as the week before. So, um, and that weight is 191.8. So a total of 22 pounds even um, of what I've lost since I've started. And I guess I'm just a little um, frustrated with myself lately. Seems like it's the same thing that's running through my mind lately of uh, this maintenance I thought by changing um, plans at the beginning of the year from calorie command to carb conscious that I would see a change with weight loss and it's not, it's not happening. Now I've been um, consistently tracking more often over the past two weeks than I normally do so that's a good thing. And what I'm seeing is, is there is a pattern of me overeating. So obviously when there's more calories going in and less calories being burned, then I'm going to see that scale either stay up or maintain. So I'm frustrated with that. Um, what I'm also noticing is because with the iTrack Bites app, I can have a second metric that I'm um, tracking and I've chosen it to track my calorie intake as well. So um, I've been looking at the calorie side of my tracker a little bit more closely than I have been in the past since I started at the beginning of the year. And what I'm noticing is that even though I'm going over with bites with the um, carb conscious plan, I'm either staying at or below my um, calorie intake overall for the day, my normal daily intake. And so more times than not, I'm seeing that I'm below my calories and so that's kind of like throwing me off. I'm thinking that I was more success, more successful on calorie command because I was staying within the amount of calories that I was supposed to be eating. And um, when it was time to lose, my body was losing like, you know, really what I wanted to, to lose weight. But now I think I'm not eating enough calories. And I used to think to myself when people would say this, I'm like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> But no, for real, like I think I'm not eating enough calories and it's kind of, um, oh, it's, it's just kind of more prevalent now that I've been keeping more of a, um, being more mindful of watching the calories that are going in throughout the day. And so uh, I think I'm going to give it one more week of keeping the carb conscious plan, but I'm going to not focus on my bites, my daily bites, but I'm going to focus on the calories. Kind of going back to watching the calories and if I can even if I'm over on bites like by 10 or 15 bites for the day but I'm under my calorie goal for the day then I'm going I'm going to eat more closer to my calorie goal for the next seven days and less focused on the bites if I see a loss this coming week then I'm going to switch back to calorie command so I've always said that you know, give it at least two weeks, give it at least two months. Um, and now I've, I've given it almost two months on this plan. So, um, that's why I just kind of want to wait, give it one more week, you know, and kind of see, is it more to do with the calories and less to do with the bites or what? Because I just feel as though I could be, like I said, under eating. So that's the big thing as far as where I'm seeing my weight lately. Secondly, this is like the frigidest, coldest snap of cold weather that we've had here in Wisconsin in a long time. And so we are dealing with, currently the temp today is 19 degrees below zero and the wind chill is 40 degrees below zero. So to go outside longer than 10 minutes is like super hyper, hypothermia and could cause your skin to freeze on contact. And so it's so dangerous to even be outdoors. I have to stay by my door when I'm letting my dog outside because I just don't want him to get hurt. 
um, by being out there longer than he should. So um, walking outdoors is out of the question. And that is so hard for me because that's such a, a, a goal for me to try to do each day. And yes, I have my treadmill and I have my gym membership. But again, I don't want to leave my house. And my treadmill is only so great. It's just such a loud machine. I'm, I'm thinking about just kind of selling it or getting rid of it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with exercise. I know that once I get to the gym, like if I can get my body there, then I'll work out. Absolutely no problem. But it's just mentally getting myself um, organized and ready to go to leave the house to go to the gym to work out. That's another hard thing for me. Plus, we are in the dead of playoffs right now with our family business. And so normally if I don't help out during the week with my family business, I have more time to work out at the gym. But like for instance, this past week, I was committed to two or three games after work. So after my full-time job as a nurse, then I'm doing producing work for our family business. And so that takes away from my time from going to the gym and my, and my desire to. So um, I'll see what the schedule shows for this coming week as far as what games my husband needs me to work. And then I will definitely make a plan in my planner to work on getting to the gym. And I'll show you the planner. I think I showed it to you. It was my Christmas gift. Hold on. So this is the planner right here. I got it from my, my son and his girlfriend. And it says, believe in yourself. In red it says, be you. And um, this is such a great planner. So it has things broken up. Today I'm grateful for. And then it has three things that you're grateful for. Um, and then it says my goal to live life fit today is, and then it says one thing I appreciate, appreciate about my strong body today is, and then it says, it asks you what your workout for the day is and how many minutes of it. It has a nourish box that talks about what your foods are for the day. And then at the end, it has a scale of zero to 10 on your energy level. Where do you fit or where do you feel like you did, um, after eating and nourishing your body. And then it has a spot for reflect, like your mood for the day. And at the bottom, it's, it has a smiley face, a straight face, or a frown. And um, so that's cute. And that has a, on the right hand side of the page, a whole space for you to just write out like what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what's going through your mind. Sometimes I love to just purge all of my to-dos for a Monday all on that side and then there's a box on the bottom right hand page that says this inspires me and it has the just an open space for you to just write down an example of what inspires you and then there's a quote or a fit tip or something that's motivational on the bottom left hand side of the page so this is a great tool so I want to be able to use that more feel as though I have more control over my days Otherwise, I sit in my house, I'll burn a fire, or I'll be under a blanket, and I'll Netflix the whole night. My British baking show is my favorite show on my Netflix right now. and um, Or I'll sit and listen to my book on tape for hours. So um, those are things that I, a tool that I want to use and get more familiar with and more conscious and, and more of an effort to do. Also, meal planning. So for this week, my meals are homemade pizza with the skinny dough recipe. Um, that includes like the non-fat or low-fat Greek yogurt uh, or non-fat Greek yogurt. And then the self-rising flour and yeast. Um, so I'm going to make that this week. And then the other meal that I have planned, I have um, the funeral sandwiches, which I just made today. Uh, for Valentine's Day, which was so, so yummy. I'll see if I can insert some pictures. My husband showered me with beautiful flowers and chocolates and a teddy bear, so that was so sweet. Actually, it's a teddy, it's a meerkat, <laughs> not, a, not a teddy bear. Um, stuffed animal, I should say. And then, um, what's another meal I have? This Oh, uh, of course, our staple, which we love so much, beef stroganoff. I'm trying to think what other meal we have. I think I have like the, the chicken, the Chick-fil-A from Aldi, the, the chicken breast patties. 
um, the knockoff of that. Of course, I have lots of ingredients to make other meals if I want to, if those things don't sing to me this week. And yeah, I've been very conscious to get more fruit from the grocery store and to eat more fruit and be more mindful of filling up on the, the lower calorie or zero bite foods. Um, just taking advantage of those more versus constantly dealing with high bite or bite rich foods. Um, so that's it. That's how my week has been. My last two weeks. Busy, cold, and slightly out of control with eating. So I'm going to get back on track, jump into this, uh, get myself, use this tool, get myself organized and ready to hit this next week. Hardcore. All right. That's it. We'll talk to you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you guys have a way of, um, you know, like telling yourself, what do you tell yourself on how to get to the gym so that you go? Or if it's not the gym, if it's your home gym or even just leaving the house for a walk, what do you do? What kind of discipline, what kind of things do you tell yourself to encourage yourself and motivate yourself to do it? I'd like to hear, put me a comment down in the box. I'd love to hear what you, what you do to, that works for you. Okay. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. Take care.